Many people have asked me, how easy is it to put together a reload? Well, in this video, I think I'll show you how to do that and how easy it really is. So this is the case that uh, we're going to be assembling into, and this is an RMS 40-120 casing. That means it goes from 40 newton seconds to 120 newton seconds, uh, and, and any size in between. We're going to be assembling the G64 uh, dash 7 white lightning motor, which is a full 120 newton second motor. And when you get the reload kit, you can spread everything out and inspect everything. You should have uh, three O rings, a, uh, a nozzle, uh, the delay, a spacer, the ejection charge, propellant, the igniter, and then your casing, of course. So, first thing we're going to do is take apart the casing. And I'm going to be referring to the instructions, and you can follow along in the instructions if you have them. Uh, first step is to grease the O-rings. Uh, the O-rings can be greased with pretty much anything. Um, I use white lithium grease. Aerotech says that you can also use uh, Vaseline. Uh, white lithium grease can be found at any auto supply store. And you only need a little bit. That's going to be plenty. Um, you just want to put a... a a little sheen on top of your uh, o-ring see and right there is probably a little bit too much so I'm going to spread the wealth and do all the other ones at the same time with the same amount all right just going to put those off to the side um, next we want to take the nozzle and this nozzle just inspect the inside and uh, this one, there's a little bit of plastic flashing in there, so I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and just going to kind of clean it out so that I can look through it. And okay, so that's ready. Uh, according to the instructions, we want to take our delay insulator, which is this one here, and you want to take your thumb and uh, push down on the inside edge to remove the little burr that they get when they cut this, because you need to put in this little spacer, that little and then your delay element and this is the delay element here and that's going to go in and you want to push it all the way in until the edge is flat all right all right now that is going to go into the forward closure which is this one right here uh, but first we have to put in one of the greased o-rings which is the smallest one and then we're going to put in our delay element and the the part with the delay is going to go to the forward end. And make sure you don't touch that because you probably still have some grease on your fingers and you don't want to get grease on the propellant or it will stop it from burning. And you don't want to get any on that end either. All right, so that's that. Next we want to take our propellant and Aerotech puts them separately um, and they bag one of them and this is for postal shipping regulations. That's why they bag one of them it's always separate. So just go ahead and open up that bag, take it out, and that liner is going to be tossed away. We only need this part here. We need to put the two together, and then we need to tape them together. And I'm just going to use some clear cellophane tape and line up the, the uh, slot in the propellant, put tape on there and put it around and you don't need to cut the tape away from the propellant. Uh, then that is going to be inserted into this liner like that. Alright and then we are now on step number five. Place the forward insulator into the case where the end of the propellant grain is flush with the end. Okay so we're going to push this in and the propellant is going to be flush with one end and that's going to go into the case that goes on top there like that one of the o-rings goes on top of that and then this gets screwed in there like that all right now on this end uh, we're going to drop in the o-ring um, and it also tells you to put the igniter in, and the igniter is in this cardboard tube. You can go ahead and take that out. I just rip it open. You don't need the cardboard tube for anything. And you take that igniter, go ahead and stretch it out. Be careful with it. Don't kink it. Try to stretch it out. 
drop it in the slot. It has to go in all the way to the, the bottom. Then you're going to put your nozzle on top. That goes right in the middle, into that middle of that O-ring. The aft closure goes on. Screw it down. Aerotech says to take a rag so you can get a good grip on it. And tighten it up as tight as it will go. All right, there you go. Now this here contains the ejection charge. And I want to take the small end and put the small end down, kind of tap it to get any loose black powder down into the bottom, and then carefully, carefully open that up. And then take your uh, motor and press the motor down into that, like that, and there's your ejection charge. And you can kind of tap it down like that. Um, this end, sometimes some of the instructions say to cut a hole in it. What I do is just take an X-Acto knife and just trim off a corner like that so I have a little opening in. Sometimes these are a little bit tight so I'll also just cut a, a small slit down one side um, and that's going to hold the igniter in there. And I'll just bend it over the side like that. And that motor is now ready to insert into the rocket engine and you can go ahead and launch it. So see how easy that is. Reloads are pretty simple. And uh, cleaning them is, uh, we've covered that in one of the Apogee newsletters. You can go ahead and download that. Just go to the archive and look for cleaning rocket reloads. Uh, but basically you unscrew it, push everything out, soak it in some soapy water, put a little vinegar on it with a toothbrush, clean it all out, and you're ready to launch again. Hi, my name is David Verga from Colorado Springs, Colorado. So what do I buy from Apogee? Because Tim doesn't just sell rockets, he sells rocket science. You can use information on his website and it'll tell you exactly why something as strange looking as this actually flies. So Tim's business is one of a kind and he deserves your business. Thanks Tim, appreciate it.